What's good guys, it's Kyle Fisk, and today we will be going over how to set up the Canon 70D, or any camera for that matter, for streaming. Uh, you can use this on Streamlabs, OBS, I actually prefer Streamlabs, so that's what I'll be showing you guys today. Um, but yeah, let's get into this. To get things started, you will need your USB cable. Uh, this is the USB port for the Canon 70D. Just plug this in the computer, therefore you can see your video. Um, another thing I highly recommend is actually a battery AC adapter. So this means you can plug in your camera to the wall and power it that way instead of using a battery that you had to charge over and over again. This is actually the battery that I use and I highly recommend it. Now for the software, just go on Google and type in Canon EOS Utility. Um, this is what will pop up. And here you have a selection of cameras. You got the newer models. We are looking for the Canon 70D. When you click on Canon 70D, make sure you go down to Canon EOS Utility. Ignore the webcam utility that is new, but I did try it and it does not work. So don't waste your time. Um, but yes, yeah, so go ahead and download it and, and install the software. You might have to restart your computer, but once you get that done, uh, come back to the video and we can get it started. Alright guys, so once you get the software installed, um, go ahead and open it up. This is what you guys will see. Go ahead and go to camera settings slash remote shooting. Once you click that, this, this will pop up and this gives you basically your f-stop, your iso, and all that good stuff. You can set your picture style, but the thing you want is live view shoot. Press that, and from here, uh, you can see me. You can see uh, what your camera sees. So in order to turn off this focus bar, just press this. Um, but let me grab Streamlabs to show you guys how to incorporate this into Streamlabs. All right, guys, so you can actually currently see me in Streamlabs right now. So what you guys want to do if you're playing game or whatever, keep this screen in the background. So just click away from it. And now in Streamlabs, we want to create a new source. So from this new source, we want to press window capture, um, press add source, call the source, the camera, or what the heck you want to call it. Press add source. And from here, you want to select your window select remote live view window don't click don't click eos 70d um so from here now we press done and now you guys can see we have this big ugly bar and that's not useful at all you guys will need to press right click on your video on your camera press right click press transform edit transform and boom you got your um, crop factors down here. Don't worry about your position, size, and rotation. The crop factor is what you guys need to worry about. So in order to get rid of these black bars and the gray bars, etc., you guys will need to um, crop in the left, the right, the top, and the bottom of your screen. I'm gonna go ahead and put in my factors and show you guys in a second. All right, guys, so I did my crop factors. Um, you can make it however um, square you want or rectangle you want it but these are my crop factors i did 500 1000 180 and 650 so once you're done cropping your factors press done so don't worry about the size of the screen because you can always just pull that make it bigger make it smaller i'm just gonna make it small and put this in the corner and boom i have my streaming camera i can move this i can transform it i can adjust it by pressing edit transform and adjusting those crop factors again so if i want more boxy just 600 blah blah i can keep changing it whatever but that's basically how you guys do it once you guys close out our stream labs and open it again you guys should be able to have your camera set in place don't worry about it for next time make sure you guys open up your canon utilities app go to remote live view shooting and therefore you guys can actually see your camera again um, sometimes I forget and I'm like, why the heck do I come to a black screen in Streamlabs? It's because I never turned on my app yet and turn on remote live view. So guys, make sure you guys keep this in the background. Don't exit out of it. 
Just keep in the background, keep in the background of the games, and your stream should be perfectly fine. I've used this on multiple streams. I have never once had a problem. Sometimes, if you, um, I'm gonna try it right now. If you minimize out of this, now my stream's paused. You don't want to minimize out of it. Don't do that. Just keep it open. Don't click off it. Don't minimize it. Just keep it open and in the background, and you're perfectly fine. Alright guys, so that's it for the tutorial. I hope you guys liked it. And again, you guys can do the same exact thing you did here on Streamlabs. You guys can do it on OBS. Um, but if you guys have any questions at all, just comment down below. Or hit me up on Instagram. I'll get back to you right away. Um, but until then, I'll see you guys in the next video.